Hello family, Tony here. It's uh, Monday night, January the 30th. Hope everyone has been doing well. Um, if you got earplugs in, you might want to take them out. I'm going to blow the shofar. Everyone, I got a special guest on tonight. I'd like to introduce him. His name is Tyler Early. Tyler Early. <laughs> hey guys, how you been, Tyler? Been good. Just hanging out. Uh, Tyler is going to present the gospel. Then he's going to talk to you a little bit about how things have been going. So, Tyler, take it away. So here's the simple gospel: First Corinthians 15, 1 through four, chapters one through four. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and brethren, ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, uh, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So, why do you need a savior? Because you need to know this. It's very important that you know this. And this is from the King James Version as well. I forgot to mention that. Uh, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23. Romans 3.10. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. And that's why we need a savior. Because if we didn't have a savior, we'd all be doomed. That's right. So... How do we get saved? Acts 16, 31 says, And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. And my favorite verse, personally, John 3, 16. I know this one by heart. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, forever shall believe in him, shall have everlasting life, and shall never perish. Awesome. And, um, one thing that a lot of people struggle with, and I myself struggled with this for a little while, but then I kind of brought myself back because, you know, you fall into temptation and into the world sometimes, and you can get off course a little bit. So, can we get to heaven by doing good? No, for it is written in Ephesians 2, uh, 2 8 to 9, chapter, Ephesians 2. Chapters 8 to 9. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. 8 through 9. <laughs> For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Is there any other belief or God that can save you? Absolutely not. I can tell you 100% that's, you know, that God is the only one, but here's proof. Acts 4.12 Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And Jesus said also this, John fourteen six. Jesus saith unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no one cometh unto the Father except through me. That's right. Hallelujah. That's the, the, the basic gospel. It's easy to get saved, guys, and do it today because time is running out. Uh, we're not promised another day. And um, the world is uh, quickly winding down, guys. When you look around and you see the things going on in the world, I mean, we have a threat of nuclear war. We've got Israel with these red heifers talking about building a third temple. All that is, is possible in the very near future. So we're seeing in, in the one world government, one world religion, all these things are like the shadows of, of the tribulation coming down on us. So we know it's going to be soon. So act now. Don't wait. Uh, don't wait till it's too late because... Um, any moment Jesus could come back for his church. And if you're not ready, if you haven't accepted him as your Lord and Savior, you will be left behind. The worst seven years that the world has ever seen. It's going to be hell on earth. It's going to be horrendous. And um, you don't want to have to go through with that. All you got to do is accept Christ and you can miss all that. So anyways, Tyler's going to talk a little bit about himself. And I'm going to leave him with you for a little bit here. And then I'll come back when he's all done. Hey everybody, I've just come back from my trip um i was in mexico for a lot of reasons one reason being that 
you know, away from my wife, it's very hard to, you know, go on and everything like that. And also, we both had to make sure that we had closure with where we could go, as in, like, we could have somewhere to go in another place if for some reason it doesn't work out here for, for both of us because of, you know, immigration and all that. But God willing, everything's going to work out, so we're not worried about it now. But, um... Unfortunately, I'm here without my wife because uh, we haven't worked out that plan yet. I mean, we have, but the thing is, it's not all engaged yet. We're still waiting on some things, but soon I'll be with her and um, we'll be good. Um, but my journey to Mexico was very enlightening. Uh, the place is beautiful. If you really look at it without the eyes, seeing the buildings like they are compared to other places, it's really beautiful. And uh, in the the biggest towns, like it looks like New York City. Only in New York City, it didn't have all the uh, pollution, except there's some pollution. It's worse other places than other. Uh, the main thing is. No matter where you're at in the world, there's always going to be a dangerous place. There's going to be a safe place. If you know where you're going, you ain't got to worry about the dangerous place. But if you're saved, I mean, you only have to worry about that anyway because God has you always. So, I just uh, wanted to tell you about that and thank you for the donations, the 3K you guys raised. It was amazing that you did that and I would not be able to get any of the things started without you guys' help, so I really appreciate it, big time. Um, uh, one thing that I am a little concerned about is just the the things afterwards, um, like the not the form itself, but the actual packet that we have to get and things like that. <clears throat> but um, you know, the goal is still the same. If you guys feel led to donate, donate. If you don't. It doesn't matter. I love you guys the same. It's uh, all up to you. All up to God, of course. But, uh, yeah, uh, and the last thing was I wanted to say was visit Cancun Beach and Playa de Carmen for room. They are beautiful. You would love it. Uh, if you get the chance, of course. I know people are working and everything, but but don't deny yourself that pleasure. It is a beautiful place. All right, back to Dad. Awesome. Well, Tyler, we really missed you, and um, I think everyone um, everyone here missed you. And um, just glad you're back for however long. Um, Tyler is um, getting a job. He's going to try to get raise some of the money himself, so hopefully we can um, get all of it taken care of. But um, for right now, we're just waiting. It's still just a waiting game. and. Um, you know, once we know for sure that that petition is approved, then we can move to the next level. Um, it could take, uh, they said, as long as two years. So we, um, all we can do now is just Tyler could just try to work and save up some money and, um, you know, get back to his wife probably in a few months because he's going to be missing her pretty bad and maybe just come back and forth a little bit here and there until he can, till, you know, until they get it approved. The, uh, the petition? Mm -hmm. um, you mean the whole form, like the petition and the change of status? Because the petition itself takes like about a year. The other one I think takes like Okay, so all together it's going to take about two years. Yeah. So the petition takes about a year, and then the rest of it is about two. So about two years, everything's finished? Yeah, that's the idea. Um, yeah. I'm not really worried about the petition per se. I'm just worried about the change of status. The petition's fine. We know we got a solid marriage. We can prove it easily. It's not a problem. The thing we're worried about is the the USCIS being kind of like prejudiced towards her but then again she's never done anything wrong here the only thing that could ever mess anyone up is if they worked here or did something that's blatantly illegal and they can see it but we didn't do anything wrong we just wanted to stay together and we you know took her back when she was supposed to go back as far as everyone's concerned yeah, we did. Uh, 
But yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'm just worried about it because you know, the bridges and, um, and sometimes they can be a little bit weird about the visas and things. And just to make it clear, I'm not saying anyone that works in the USCIS is racist towards Mexicans. No, I'm just saying that some people have been known to be racist towards Mexicans, and I'm just a little bit concerned about it. But obviously, God's on our side, so I shouldn't worry. And um, everyone has a heart, so if they're in the USCIS and they're an actual person, they're probably going to see our case and not really be too weird about it, you know, so... But, uh, yeah. Oh, and, um, also sharpened up on my guitar skills. Uh, I might show it on my channel. Awesome. So what was it like living in, um, in Mexico? Was it different from living here? Wildly different, yes. But, uh, the thing was, there, if you didn't have a job, then you would just do what you could to, to, um, have something to do. You know, you'd always have something to do because they're very hard workers. They never sit around. And if they do sit around, it's not for long. <laughs> yeah. You said that you was uh, you didn't work while you was down there. Why was that? Why wasn't you able to work? I don't have the necessary paperwork to do that. You have to have um, your residence, uh, like visa or something like that. Kind of like the green card here, you have to have that there. And it takes a while to get it. So we were like, Maybe we'll get it, but only if she can't come here. Because so you're not no um, planning to uh, become a, um, a citizen there at any time, are you? Or are you? I would be if things fell out here, because we'd have to have somewhere that we can just go and stay and wait, you know, for something mm -hmm. or work. But, yeah, that or Canada, but it's really, it's kind of up to what happens here yeah. well we're all hoping everything works out so that you can stay here yeah um, because uh we really missed you when you was gone the cats missed you but uh that's about it guys i guess tyler um has told his story so i guess i don't really have a whole lot to say tonight but i just wanted to say um thank y'all for all the help you gave him and um just keep looking up because uh, we are getting closer by the minute um i mean i don't uh i don't think we're Personally, I think that we could be out of here before um, March the 23rd. Um, i am just got a, a million reasons for that. I'm going to make a video about that here really soon and um, the reasons why I think we will be. But um, but we could go at any time. Jesus could literally come back at any moment. So um, keep looking up. And um, like Brother Chooch always says, see you either here or there, especially in the air. I love you guys. See you later.